Hey puppy people, it's Cindy. So what do you do if you get bit? What happens if you get bit by a dog or your dog bites somebody else? I know it's a really happy, optimistic topic, but I happen to think about it because the other day I got bit. Seems like every decade I get bit by a dog. Uh, I've been doing this, I've been working with animals 40 years now, and it seems like once a decade. It's like driving a car. It doesn't matter how great you are as a driver, you're gonna get bit. That's just the nature of things, right? So what do you do if you get bit? How do you handle the first aid of it? When do you go to the doctor? And most importantly, what do you do with your dog if it's your dog? And then I also wanted to talk today about my solution to trying to prevent dog bites. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, what do you do if you happen to get bit? Even in the best of situations, sometimes things happen. So the first thing you do, obviously, is your first first aid. First first aid, you know. Um, most dog bites are punctures, so you wanna make sure that you wanna clean the wound really well. Hydrogen peroxide, another antibacterial, and um, apply pressure so that it stops the bleeding. Uh, apply, <laughs> apply ice immediately to help prevent the bruising. Uh, the, the other night, uh, I had, uh, my son plays hockey, and so I was icing my arm, and he was icing his arm, and that's one of the benefits of having hockey players in the family, is I got plenty of ice, to be sure. So you wanna ice it, and it really does help it feel good as well. Um, now, when do you seek medical attention? Obviously, if it's a laceration, if it's a severe bite, if the bleeding doesn't stop, and if you haven't had a recent tetanus shot. That's another thing, please keep in mind. Uh, see, tetanus is an issue, okay? Um, obviously, if it isn't your dog, you want to make sure that that dog has been fully vaccinated, especially against rabies. Uh, and um, if you're in a situation where a dog bite happens or a dog attack occurs, if it is your dog, you want to immediately grab your dog and get it out of there. Don't um, just <laughs> stand back like a deer in headlights and see what's gonna happen, right? Okay, uh, so get your dog, get them out of there. And when you get them out of there, walk them away. Don't just hold them back and so they can still see the person and they're going to escalate in their intensity. You want to walk them away, get their eyes completely off of that other person or if it's another dog for that matter. Just walk them away, get their eyes off of it. Uh, because the more they see it, the more it's going to intensify. Especially if it was what happened to me, it was like a dominance issue where the dog was just like, you know what, I don't like you. So walk them away, get their eyes off of it. And, um, and then what you want to do after that, as far as training goes, is seek professional help, obviously. Um, I hear so often, you know, we tend to make excuses. Oh, the dog was afraid, or he was protecting me, or this, or that. There's really no excuse. And it's not just going to get better. It needs to be addressed because if you're not working on it getting better, I can guarantee you it's only gonna get worse. So please seek professional help to, um, to correct whatever the situation is. And there's a multitude of reasons that dogs bite, absolutely. Um, but no matter what the reason is, as a responsible dog owner, I hate to be a wet blanket, but you're liable. You know, um, if a dog bites somebody and they bite the wrong person, you're gonna get sued. And even if it's, you know, not a serious bite, if it's just a puncture or um, even where it didn't even um, break skin, you, can, you are still liable for that. And even if your dog didn't break somebody's skin, they still bit them. I hear this a lot too, oh, you know, I'll ask people in an aggression situation, okay, how many times has he actually bitten somebody? Oh, well, he's never really bitten somebody, he just nips at them. <laughs> well, 
the fine nip, you know. Um, so anything like that, even a nip, if, if they, if they um, snap at somebody, that's a level one bite. So don't, um, it's easy to excuse the behavior, but there's really no excuse for it. And, and again, I want you all to know the seriousness of it. And I, I work with a lot of rescue people as well that I don't want to say they condone it, but they just don't think that dogs are capable of the damage that they're capable of doing until they do it. And, um, you know, keep in mind, dogs have been weaponized. That's why the military uses them. And the military has used them since Roman times. Romans weaponized dogs. Uh, we still use dogs in the military today, police dogs, all of that. And please don't get lulled into a false sense of security that, you know, oh, golden retrievers never bite. Labradors never bite. Anything with teeth can bite you. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I've seen aggressive everything. So um, don't assume that just because your dog is a certain breed that you don't have to worry about aggression. And, and don't get me wrong, yes, some breeds are more prone to it than others because again, what we have bred them to do as humans, some dogs were bred to follow us into war. Some dogs were bred as protection guard dogs. So they have that stronger propensity, but anything with teeth can bite. <laughs> Back me into a corner. I'll bite you too, man. Um, never say never. <laughs> uh, so, um, so how do we prevent it? So, what to do in case of a dog bite? Obviously, medical care first, first aid. Get your dog into training. Absolutely, prevent it from happening again, and don't think that it can never happen again. But the third thing is we really want to learn from this. And I, I guess this is the big takeaway for me is because I always look at every moment as a learning opportunity. Um, it's an opportunity for enlightenment for us too. There's no such thing as an accident. Things happen. It's my cat wants to go out. Um, things happen for a reason and they're lessons to be learned. So my lesson, my takeaway is... You know, my first thought is, oh, you know, I, I need to help more aggressive dogs and I need to get this information out there. And then I thought, no, girl, we want to prevent aggressive dogs. It's so much easier to prevent this than it is to solve it. And again, it's so much easier to not drive your dog, or your, your dog, your car into a ditch than it is to pull your car out of the ditch. So prevention is key. And then, you know, my mind starts going, okay, how do I get this information out to people? And you guys that know me, you know, this is why I started training. And I even hate the word training. I'm going to stop using the word training. I, it's more of a, you know, relationship coach or, um, I, I don't know, life coach for your dog or something. Um, but what got me into this behavior world is, is losing my own dog who was killed by a car. She ran out into the street and and was killed. And, and so that's sent me going, you know, how do I protect, protect dogs from this happening again? And my emphasis is not on, yeah, you know, I love a good stupid pet trick to be sure, but I wanna keep your dog safe. I wanna keep them safe and I wanna keep them a vital member of your family. And let's be honest, if your dog is aggressive, they're not safe, you know? There's my kitty. What the matter, kitty cat? I know. Am I not paying attention to you? So, um, so prevention and how to get this information out. So anyway, my brainstorm, and I've been dabbling with this over, I don't know, a couple of years now. <sighs> the information age. I've resisted it. I know it's important. I know it's such a great way to communicate and a great way to get this information out. So I need to embrace it more and, and embrace my own insecurities. Uh, so anyway, I, um, I am, am putting together a completely online program that's interactive. So it's not a, just a self-study. It's where we interact together, but... I coach you um, online because I know one of the big reasons people don't do dog training is time, money, 
resources, and where dog training falls apart is support, where it's that continued support uh, to keep you on track with your dog because behavior changes. Just because your dog is good this month doesn't mean they're, they're not gonna have some issues next month or six months from now or six years from now. So I'm, I'm brainstorming, putting together a completely online course to give you that continued support and, and education for your dog because I know it's so confusing right now because of the YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of information out there. Some of it is very good. Uh, some of it is not very good, uh, but I know it's very confusing and kind of piecemealing. Hi, my kitty. Am I not paying attention to you? Where's my bossy little kitty? Um, so, so I'm brainstorming that. So please, those of you that have done training with me, have done my programs, please leave me a comment or email me um, what you really liked about the training, what you thought was most beneficial, something that definitely I should get out there to more dogs. And really that's my goal, is I wanna get this basic information out to as many dogs and as many owners as possible to prevent these situations. Because dog bites are easy to prevent, they're difficult to solve. So, um, so anyway, please leave me a comment. Please uh, shoot me an email, what you would like to see in a course, uh, what you would not like to see in a course. Just as important, uh, those of you that take my courses and are like scratching your head, why did we even do this? Uh, please give, give me that feedback. And I am really work, working on my own insecurities and my own issues, pushing forward to get this information out there. Um, I'm constantly reminded, I'm gonna cry, I'm constantly reminded of, of uh, my chemical romance song. You know how much I love my MCR boys. Um, Gerard Way hit the nail on the head, you know, he said, it was the roar of the crowd that gave me heartache to sing. It was a lie when they smiled and said, you won't feel a thing. But it's so important. <sighs> the roar of the crowd are the dogs that need my help. And I have to get over my own insecurities. I've seen myself on video and listening to myself talk um, because it all comes down to if I can help one dog and save their life and make their bond with their owner that much more meaningful. That's what it's all about. So I gotta push past my own crap um, and, um, and, and really embrace this online stuff and, and these stupid videos. What, what was uh, Mark Twain said, it's better to be thought a fool than to open one's mouth and be proved uh, right or something like that, I don't know. Or to, or to take away all uh, um, hesitation, I don't know, whatever he said, I can't remember more. I can, I can quote my chemical romance, but I can't quote my Mark Twain. Um, anyway, so if you get bit by a dog, medical care, get some training, and um, give me some feedback how I can prevent this.